We are currently reading through the book of Revelation. That's where we are in our read through the New Testament plan that we're going through as a church. Now, this is a really interesting but challenging book to read. Uh, there's lots of strange imagery that we find in this book as John is on the island of Patmos and he is having this Holy Spirit inspired vision uh, of various different things going on. So the question is, how do we best read this book that's so different from other books in the Bible? And I would say to you, the one word to hold on to throughout the reading of Revelation is the word hope. This really is a, a book of, of hope. It is a book uh, that reminds us that we live in a, a fallen world and we, we face a lot of forces of evil and, and darkness and they seem to run amok. But at the same time, it reminds us that, that God is there in the midst of it all, that, that God is, is with us and that God has a way for us to get through the evil and through the darkness and through the difficulties and struggles that we face in this world. Listen to what it says in Revelation chapter five, the, the first five verses. That I saw in the right hand of him who sat on the throne a scroll with writing on both sides and sealed with seven seals. And I saw a mighty angel proclaiming in a loud voice, who is worthy to break the seals and open the scroll? But no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth could open the scroll or even look inside it. I wept and wept because no one was found who was worthy to open the scroll or look inside. Then one of the elders said to me, do not weep. See the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David has triumphed. He is able to open the scroll and its seven seals. All right, so it's, it it's, comes down to the end that there is one who can open the seals and that one is the lion of Judah, the one from the root of David who is Jesus the Christ. Right, so there's this one scroll that has these seven seals. There seems to be some, some insights and answers that we could find in that scroll. And, and the seals being unbroken uh, can only happen through one person, that's Jesus. That's going to happen mostly in chapter 6 as those seals are broken. And they offer a picture of the world and the picture of the struggles. And then the seventh seal is open in chapter 8. And it appears to point to the climax of the, of the battle between the holiness of God and the sinfulness of the world. Uh, and that all plays out in the following chapters in Revelation. But, but here's what I hope you'll hear in the first part of chapter 5. There is one. There is one who is able to help us through the challenges. There is one who is able to see us through the struggles. There is one and only one. Jesus the Christ, who himself came into the world in the midst of those struggles and faced them for himself. He has the control and the power in the midst of all that's going on. So in other words, no matter what we face, there is one in whom we can place our hope. There is one who can see us through. There is one who has gone through all of this himself and he gives us the power and the peace to face everything that's going on. So read this book holding on to the word of hope. Read with the knowledge that, that God has made a way for us to face all of these uncertainties and difficulties in the world and all of that that comes through the imagery of the book of Revelation. God bless you in your reading.